so I've got to talk about this, folks. Um, I don't know how many of you saw this, but the gays are getting blamed for things that the straights are doing. So Ollie London posted this. Age play, the next trend to be added to the LGBTQIA plus alphabet. Adult men identifying as babies. Um, now, we haven't watched the video yet, but just like based on this, I see two straight people. So why exactly are the gays getting blamed for this? Like you're saying that this kink specifically is going to be added to the queer community based on what? So let's watch it and then maybe we'll find out why this is supposedly gay or will be affiliated with the queer community according to a notorious dipshit Ollie London. I just have to worry about things that children worry about. So usually I'd make Phil something fresh, like a blended bacon sandwich. But it's hard when it's like this, so I'm just doing this for now. I actually enjoy running around after Phil. We've never had kids of our own, and uh, we don't plan to. So it's kind of like being a parent, but without the pain of giving birth. I personally think that age play adds a whole new dimension to our relationship. It makes us stronger. We love each other more. What the We're fuck? Fun. Is the baby talking? <laughs> Wait, the baby is talking? <laughs> just broke character. Bond together. I just hope that people can leave us to live our lives the way we want to live them. Without judgment. I just have to... I'm not going to king shame you, brother. But look, this is not an LGBTQ plus thing. This seems more like a British thing, okay? I don't know why we're getting blamed for this. Why is the alphabet mafia the subject of this straight couple's ridicule here? Like, it doesn't make sense. Age play, the next trend to be added to LGBTQI+. I mean, it, this is like basically the meme of the dude throwing a stick into the spokes of his bike and then falling over and then blaming gay people. Like, that's what we're seeing here. And it's not just Ollie London. So Jordan Peterson saw this and said, just when you thought... Just when you think Dylan Mulvaney can't possibly be topped. So, again, bringing in trans people here when we're talking about a straight couple. Now, to be fair, are there some queer couples who are, like, into this? Sure. But, I mean, like, wouldn't you... If, if you're trying to make an argument and convince people that the gays have gone a little bit too far and the trans is, have gone a little bit too far, wouldn't you, like, provide us with an example of a gay couple doing this instead you show us straight people and then you blame the gays i feel like that's kind of fucked up no now we have this post here to educate the society about evil wokeism mras should identify themselves as animals trees or babies mras men men's rights activists expose the feminist and trans woke shit say no to same-sex marriage so this is just like all over the place but again like attacking gay people because they're outraged over what a straight couple is doing in the privacy of their own home. Listen, this is not for me, right? I don't understand this. I don't fuck with this personally. Um, it's humorous, admittedly. But they're free to do what they want to do. Like, they're not hurting anybody. So I, I don't care about that. But the question is, like, why do you find the most absurd kinks that you can find on the internet and the internet is a very large place you're gonna find some pretty freaky shit out there right but why find that and then try to attach that to lgbtq plus people it's just it's so weird and like how did ollie even find this video like where where did he come across this was he researching age play kings himself like i just don't understand um now if you go through like the quote tw tweets uh you see two different responses some people are saying man <laughs> The gays sure have gone too far again. And then you see other people saying, bro, this is a straight couple. Why, why, why are you bringing LGBTQ plus people into this? It makes no sense, right? So like, um, okay, somebody else said this is hilarious. If you played Yaku Yakuza Like a Dragon, there's a there's an age play scene in it. We'll watch that real quick. Somebody shared this. Do 
So maybe like Ali London was playing Yakuza and he saw this scene and he's like, ooh, I, I can like tie this to gay people or something. Although again, in this scene as well, um, heterosexual people here. So, you know, I don't know what to say. Uh, this person saying y'all had a good run, but it's time. Shoot down the flag. Again, straight people. Okay. This is pathetic. Kind of not really blaming queer people here. Um, another person making fun of them. And then we finally have somebody saying, you're really grasp, y'all are really grasping at straws just to prove that LGBT folks are, uh, nonsense especially you mr korean affirming surgery and we'll get to that in a moment if you don't know what they're referencing here with regard to ollie london hate to break it to you babe but these are straight people i mean yeah so like this is the yakuza side quest <laughs> so it's just this is where we're at where like they're trying to pin anything that they find bizarre to uh to queer people now ollie london it's really bizarre that that individual is the face of like the transphobic anti-queer movement because you would think that conservatives wouldn't embrace someone like this who is just insane like this is an individual who is racist who tried to get plastic surgery to make himself look like a member of uh, BTS, specifically Jimin. And for those of you who don't know what that is, that is a South Korean boy band. I'm part of the army, so I know. No, but in all seriousness, like this Wikipedia here is pretty insane. In March of 2022, London announced plans for penis reduction surgeries, stating that in Korea, the average penis is like 3.5 inches. I mean, this is just straight up racism, like getting plastic surgery based on stereotypes, right? Um, on top of that, he had undergone 32 surgeries, including six nose jobs, an eye surgery, a facelift, a brow lift, a temple lift, a teeth procedure, and skin whitening injections. Like, I didn't even know that that was a thing. Oh, apparently he is a singer too. interesting but like this person is judging everyone else ridiculing everyone else and uh he looks like this like this motherfucker has fucked his face into oblivion and he's gonna make fun of other people like this dude is younger than me he's only 33 years old this is supposedly like the uh I guess the uh, mascot for the anti-trans movement. And here he is praising Caitlyn Jenner. The only athlete that's actually come out in support really is Caitlyn Jenner, who has launched the Fairness First Political Action Committee to try and protect women in sports. But where are all the major athletes? Where are all the other Hollywood celebrities speaking out for this? Because it's about fairness. It's not about excluding a group of people. So like these people are absolutely abs uh, absurd. And unfortunately for Ollie, the problem is that as much as he's trying to uh, ingratiate himself with the right, just all of the plastic surgery makes him look like a degenerate. And they're, they're never going to fully accept him, but they'll entertain what he has to say so long as he's speaking the language that they like. But, I mean, this dude has no fucking room to talk. Like, making fun of other people, making fun of Dylan Mulvaney. Like, this person seems obsessed with Dylan Mulvaney and uh, trans people on the timeline. But, I mean, like, look in the mirror, dude. It's sad because... This is somebody who is very clearly sad and dissatisfied with himself. And he's like lashing out at other people who are living their truth. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, there's going to be people like this. There's going to be more Dave Rubens and Blair Whites, because unfortunately, that is a quick ticket to um, fame in this day and age. If you, you know, if you lash out at marginalized communities, the right is going to prop you up. But at the end of the day... It doesn't change the fact that this motherfucker right here is an absolute fruitcake and no amount of fucking targeting trans people is going to hide the fact that this dude himself is fucking insane.